Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today I have another 3D printed prop for you. You may recognize this as the Dragon Radar from the Dragon Ball series, complete with flashing LEDs. This was a fun little project, so let's walk through how to make it. I knew I was going to be 3D printing the body, so the first step was to make the 3D design. I modeled it using Onshape, a browser-based CAD tool. I wanted it to fit in my hand, so I based all the dimensions on that outer diameter. I knew the screen would be cut from a sheet of acrylic, so I had to make sure that the thickness of the acrylic was accounted for in the top, and that there was enough room inside for a 9 volt battery. Once I had the design completed, it was time for 3D printing. The outside of the case had a rough texture, due to the thin walls needing to be 100% infill, but that's okay, nothing a little Bondo can't fix. After mixing Bondo with the right amount and hardener, I applied it to the outside of the radar. Ideally, do this outside with plenty of ventilation. Bondo has an extremely strong smell. After it cured, it was time to put on the good old dust mask and goggles, because it's time for sanding. Getting a smooth finish takes a lot of time, but a grinding bit on a Dremel helps cut that down. Once the Dremel takes care of the bulk of the Bondo, I finish it off with normal sandpaper, starting with 120 grit on up to 400 grit. From here, I put on a few coats of primer. You'll notice the inside is still really rough. You won't see it in the finished product, so I didn't bother trying to smooth it out. After priming, I used blue painter's tape to mask off the outside and painted the interior black. I let it dry and then masked off the interior so I could paint the outside a glossy white. This is where my lack of experience shows. I let the paint dry while the tape was still on. When I removed it, the paint that collected at the corners peeled off, leaving an extremely rough edge, both in the seams between the two pieces and at the top of the screen. This is an area that I'm hoping to improve on in future projects. But speaking of the screen, I'm using a translucent green acrylic I purchased online. Using the locations of the LEDs from the 3D model, I used a CNC router to engrave the numbers and the grid lines. I wanted the front to be completely smooth like glass, so I engraved on the back, which means that the markings had to be mirrored. Now acrylic cuts wonderfully, so in no time at all I had the screen cut to the perfect size. If you don't have a CNC router, a sharpie on the back side would be just as good. I just never miss an opportunity to use the CNC. The last step is to do the electronics. I used a triple five timer to flash the LEDs. A triple five timer is just a small integrated circuit that can do timing and pulse generation. By adding a few simple resistors and capacitors to the correct pins on the triple five timer, you can vary the amount of time that the circuit is on and off. I have linked to some great resources in the description for learning more about this circuit. After adding a toggle switch to a 9 volt battery, the circuit was prototyped on a breadboard. Once I was happy with the circuit, I grabbed some perf board, cut it to the right size to fit the case, and spray painted the top black to match the interior. Then I started soldering up the circuits to the perf board. Finding the correct positions for the LEDs and then soldering all of the components together took a little bit of time, but it went really smooth. Finally, I had to cut a slot for the 9 volt battery using a cutoff disc in a Dremel. Finally, it was time for assembly. First, I popped the screen into the top and then used hot glue to fix it in place. I then placed the electronics inside, making sure to align the LEDs with the engraved screen the best I could. Once it's all in place, I used more hot glue to make sure nothing moves. And then finally, I used screws to attach the front and the back panel. And there we go! A simple dragon radar which makes a big first impression. So thank you for joining me on this project. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with future projects. So thank you for watching, I'll see you all next time.